Oh my god, sorry. Oh, Rick. Okay, so we are going camping this weekend at Costa Noa, which is like we've stayed in their tent cabins before and we've also stayed in their lodge before but we haven't camped we were originally planning to take the teardrop trailer but nick got stuck in the atmospheric river with it last weekend and uh, it is not waterproof so we need to do some renovations before we can take it out again um so now we're like for real for real time camping um which doesn't really impact what i need to bring um so that's fine um we just pulled together all of our camping stuff tonight um the only thing that is a little weird is usually when you go camping like you are like in camping grunge but we are going to a little Halloween get together on Saturday and then maybe adopting a dog this weekend so I still want to look semi put together so um this is my little travel bag I got it from Target um it has the middle pouch and then it has two sides uh, it's from Sonia Kashik Holly Gabriel uses the same one she got it a couple days after I got it um the only reason I say that is because a lot of times I buy things that she buys and this time I bought it first. Um, so I'm packing my vitamins. Oh, you know what? I need to add... Uh -huh. I thought I didn't have as many tonight as I usually do and that's because I didn't have... Um, Equilibria. I'm actually, I decided after this pack, I'm going to stop ordering them because I don't feel like, like I really like the product and I think it helps a little bit, but it's pretty pricey for how much it helps. So I have a chapstick that's going to go in there. The vitamins are going in here and then I'm still using, oh my gosh, the same very, 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 no, very cherry bright honeymoon glow and feeling good these are the ones that i always use and they're just free samples that come with my pharmacy stuff um i do need a new look i'm taking out my travel products then um I just finished my moisturizer tonight, like my regular size moisturizer. Oh, I'm gonna throw in a green clean sample if I do wear makeup on Saturday. And then I'm just trying to see if I have a little daily greens. Um, and then I do have another full size one too, so I'll pull that out. I think I'm gonna combine these two and bring some lotion also. So I'm gonna refill my my cellar water. This is probably enough for me, but Nick always uses mine. The simple my cellar water are my favorite travel bottles, um, but I like the Garnier stuff the best. We really need more cotton pads because it's also hit or miss when Nick uses these. I think the Costco cotton pads are the best. Mm. That's pushing on, on there being enough deodorant. So I'm gonna put this in this cabinet and then take my full size. I'm gonna take dry shampoo. We don't do trouble size dry shampoo. Um, oh. And then I'm gonna refill my little Q-tips. And then a hairbrush. I um, took this bag with me to get ready for my best friend's wedding and forgot a hairbrush and I had to do my hair, so that was a bummer. Um, I'm gonna throw this hair tie in too. And then a contact lens thing. And I think everything else I need to wait to pack until I use it. Okay, and then for makeup. I don't think I'm gonna wear makeup tomorrow, but even if I do, it's really easy to unpack this. So I have my Real Technique sponge and the carrying case. And then 
I'll grab my usual brushes, which are blush brush, highlighter, bronzer, powder, under eye powder, and then I also generally take a foundation brush with me when I travel just in case um, there isn't a place for me to wet my beauty blender. So then I put that pouch in the middle pouch of my bag. And then because of who I'm hanging out with and who I know is going to be at the Christmas party, I'm going to take my naked skin and my under eye concealer. And then because, oops, because I'm taking naked skin, I take Fit Me because then it has some added color. And then my biggest concern with taking bronzer and blush is if it's going to break in the bag. And so um, out of my blushes, uh, out of my bronzers, I'm gonna take um, the butter bronzer. And then for blush, I'm gonna take the e.l.f. primer blush. And then the only highlight I have is this Wet n Wild one. And actually, um, I don't think I'm gonna take this because I'm gonna take a palette so that I have a mirror with me because we're camping. Um, and then for mascara, I'm gonna take the Sky High mascara and I'm gonna take this Koa Brow and Brow Gel pencil combo. Um, this is from an Ipsy bag and this is the palette that I'm gonna take and then it has this big highlighter shade right here. So that's it for that. And then I have my contact lens solution. I need to use that tonight before I can take it with me. Um, and now I'm gonna do my hair. So my hair is really pretty dry and that's what I do to help make sure that the Revlon doesn't burn it because that's what was happening. I do have the Dyson Airwrap but I usually only use that when I'm curling my hair or when I'm like rough blow dry my hair. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys what I am packing. I quickly pulled it out this morning while I was getting ready. Um, so I have I have my Trick or Treat Yourself tank top. This was from Target a few years ago, but I'm thinking it's gonna be really cold on Sunday, so I also brought my long sleeve 49er shirt. I got my typical pair of jammies. The sleeping bag we have is really warm, so I'm just bringing regular jammies. I have uh, my joggers to change into with my jammies top in the morning or in the evening when it's really cold. Okay, and then I have all of my undergarments, um, but I also have for Saturday, I think we're going to a Halloween party and to hang out in Santa Cruz. So I brought this sweater that's a bit warmer, and then I also have this sweater that isn't as warm, just depending on what the weather is gonna be. And then I have my spooky black ripped jeans. And then for Saturday, I'm gonna bring these little boots, which I'm also gonna wear today. And then I'll also bring my walking shoes, um, like my hiking shoes. Um, I think that's it. Okay, so I started, like I'm not gonna wear makeup today just because it's kind of a pain when you're camping to take it off. Um, so I started just like setting my face with powder during the day after the sunscreen and stuff is on because otherwise it kind of balls up and I feel like it just makes me look less shiny in general, which is always a plus, but I finally hit pan on my powder. So that's kind of exciting. Um, this is the Sephora powder. It's old. It's in cold and linen. Um, so that's what I just use to set all over. Okay, I forgot to mention that I'm also bringing my 
Patagonia sweatshirt and that's gonna be like my camp sweatshirt so if we sit by the fire or anything it's fine if it gets grubby and then I'm bringing my Columbia fuzzy one that I just got um and then that's gonna be like my nicer sweatshirt um just because we aren't camping the whole time I want to keep those two separate and then I'm also bringing my down Eddie Bauer jacket that's like the best jacket ever so um those are also coming with me Okay, I'm in Nick's car. He's getting his wallet and keys. It is so freaking hot in here. We said goodbye to Ricky, which may be the last time that we'll say goodbye to him as an only child. So we're going down to the bay because Nick has an orthodontist appointment and then I'm going to get Starbucks, probably go to Target, and then we're gonna go meet Hambone Hank. Got a little afternoon pick me up and Nick tried to find me downtown and failed so now he's on his way here and we're gonna go meet the new little lady. Okay, so we are adopting little Hank. Um, Nick's getting gas and we're like three minutes away from his foster family's house. So we stopped at Target to get him a blankie, which is like the green version of the one we have for Rick. <laughs> and then, and then Hank actually likes toys. So Nick picked out this little Christmas dino for him. So we didn't find any sweaters or a harness. I think I'm gonna get both of those on Amazon, but he has to wear sweaters all the time because he gets cold. He's like missing some hair. So anyway, um, I'll try and show you as much as I can of him. Um, tonight we're gonna get home pretty late. We canceled our second night of camping um, and going to our friend's party. And so tonight we're gonna leave Ricky with my parents and just have Hank at the house and then they'll meet tomorrow. So hopefully it'll go well. Anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. Hi. Hank. Oh, is that right, buddy? I know, are you my nice boy? Okay, so I need to make this quick. We just introduced Hank and Rick down at my mom's house. Nick is walking Hank up to the house right now and Ricky's here with me sniffing and he's like, this is what I feared. You brought him home. Um, but I wanted to show you, we got some stuff at Petco yesterday and we got some stuff at Target. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, so we got two little bowls at Petco and then we also got these um, fresh kisses treats. Um, the lady at Petco said that they are better than greenies for their teeth, so we figured we'd give those a try. Um, and then at Target, I had already showed you the little dino for Hank. We also got these um, stocking holders because now we're a family of four. And then we got Autumn Mix for tonight. We got Hank the same little stocking we got for Vicky last year. And then we're gonna just end up needing to get a bunch of bulk ornaments for the Christmas tree, but we got this little taco glass ornament and the little red trailer. And then we got two of these Merry Christmas bath mats. They're not super big, but I think they'll do the trick. It'll be cute for the holiday seasons. Um, they were only eight bucks a peach, which was nice. And then at Sephora, I got this, um, the Olplex number eight okay and then at target i also got this little guy to hang on the wall um for christmas like a little countdown and then i got hank a uh, christmas blanket that nick's already washed um and then i got some more napkins because i realized 12 was not going to be enough so this is another pack of eight still may not be enough and then um this is a set of two little mats to go under the bowls because Ricky's food is going to be in my office and Hank's food is going to be in Nick's office now so that they don't have any like guarding issues and then I got this wood 
tray for the coffee table because Nick isn't a huge fan of the basket, um, which is fair. It doesn't hold stuff very well. So anyway, that's what I got. I'm gonna try and get some more footage of these boys together while cleaning up from camping and getting ready to have my parents over and Grammy for dinner tonight because it's Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. of November um, I am going to finish out this vlog I think I'm gonna get ready to start filming some Christmas stuff Hank and Richard were spending time yesterday they overall did a really good job like especially considering rookies personality but definitely still have some kerfluffles <laughs> um, so we're gonna be working on that over the next few days uh, my house is a disaster right now literally the only thing that's clean right now is like the kitchen table um but that's okay that's okay it's about the boys right now that's what matters um, Ricky's laying in my office and Hank is out on the couch um but yeah Halloween was super fun our friend from, best friend from high school was over for like all the day and then my parents came over at like two with Grammy um and we had nachos for dinner and we didn't get a single trick-or-treater so now we have like a ton of Halloween candy left so anyway Sorry that the vlog was not what I was expecting at all. Obviously, adopting Hank was a bit unexpected, um, but we love him so much already, and I think that um, it's going to be really good with the boys eventually, but for now, they're still getting used to each other. Also, there's this really cute picture of them sleeping together, like, on the couch last night, so I think I'm going to post that to my Instagram, which is Olivia Nielsen Vlogs. Um, so if you want to see that, definitely go check it out there. They're, they were so cute. And that was definitely like the moment that they were getting along the best. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you have a great start to November and I'll see you soon.